Don't place a trade based on what you'll see in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. Hey traders, in this video, we're gonna be looking at gold because gold has broken out. Gold has started to break out right now. And what does that mean for gold? And also we're gonna look at the GDX as well too because that's looking really interesting. And also we're gonna to touch on the stock market. Firstly, you know what? I'm going to leave you hanging with the gold road because I know you guys think gold, what's happening gold? <laughs> so let me bring up to the Dow Jones. The Dow Jones is doing what I thought it was going to do, which was, um, as you guys have seen, if you have been watching my last few videos, my target is this, this sort of box here. It's not this line. It's sort of this area here, right? This area here is the 50 to 60% retracement of this entire move up. So that's where I think the stock market's going to get. Now, the interesting thing about the actual stock market, what's happening right now, is that if I go to the weekly chart, remember, this is actually this is actually a very strong run up, and now we're just getting some sort of a pullback. And lately on the YouTubes, that's right, called me YouTubes, and also my comment section, I'm getting like 80, probably 85% of the comments being negative about how this is the top in the markets. So that tells me that this little pullback we're getting right now is probably likely to be short-lived. Now, we don't know that for sure, and depending on how far this goes down, but we've just made a triple top, okay? This is not a head and shoulder. Some people are saying that this is a head and shoulder. It's not a head and shoulder. This is more like a triple top. Top, top, top here, okay? So it's not a, it's not really a head and shoulder. Um, a head and shoulder is more defined. You can see uh, a head and shoulder is more like, more like this here. You know what I mean? So it's clearly the head is up here and the shoulders are down through here. So um, you know, and what's even more powerful is that if if this shoulder was up through here and this was actually a lower shoulder, meaning this shoulder here is lower than that shoulder, that's even more powerful when you're looking at the shoulder, head, and shoulder. But it's a triple top right now, okay? So looking at the markets where we are right now, look, and looking what's actually going on right now in the market, I can see that the um, the uh, the this 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 pullback that we're getting right now is um, it's probably likely to be short lived, and we're likely to see uh, uh, again we get we're getting we we are getting a. a a, a price and time balance where we are right now. If I bring up the S&P 500, you'll see, you'll see what I'm saying here. A price and time balance simply means when the market goes up so much in one direction, then we're likely to see what? We're likely to see some sort of a bit nice, decent pullback, aren't we? The reason why is because it's just balancing it out. Now, the thing is, guys, let me go back to this weekly chart here, is that look at this here. We've had this very strong run out, and some people, some people are saying that this is a bear market. This is not a bear market. <laughs> this, the actual the the S and P actually made a slight higher high than back here. That's not a bear market. And look at this. Look at look how strong this movement has been up. The strength in moves, and I talk about that in the Master Trader Lab. How this strength in move. If you look at the psychology, right? Think about the psychology here in this market here. Look how strong these buyers were. And here, if you look at the last two major legs in the U.S. stock market on the S and P 500, which one is more dominant? Which is, is the buying leg more dominant or the selling leg? Well, right now, what's more dominant? The buying leg, right? So, and we have a higher high here. So, who's really who's really in control? Even though we're getting a bit of a pullback here, who's more in control here? The buyers, right? The buyers on the overall picture. Now, yes, we're getting a bit of a short-term pullback, but guess what? That's how the markets work, right? They go for a run, they have a pullback. They go for a run, they have a pullback. Makes sense. So, and as you can see, the S and P's made a high high and actually made a slight higher high. So. I wouldn't be too surprised if we actually start to see that happening. So let's get straight into now gold. Gold is actually broken out right now, which is quite interesting. Uh, the thing is, as you can see, right, gold has actually started to started to break out really nicely. It had a nice move up from, from point A, okay, so from, from this point here, move up to this point here, that's the 50% level. Look at the market actually breaking below that 50% level and it actually had problems and now we're getting a breakout as well too. So this looks like it's now starting to run back up towards this level up, up here after squeezing into this big triangle pattern now for quite some time. And if we start to see that, um, if we start to see that, then this weekly chart is what? The weekly chart is going to start to create some sort of higher low through here at that 50% level. Remember the strength in moves that I just uh, shared with you? Strong move up, weak move down, right? This is exactly what the s and is doing right now. Just a very weak move down and now it's starting to bounce back up again. What does that mean? Is that if the market does run back up to here and if we break this level, 
Oh my goodness. Fireworks are going to happen in gold. Absolutely there. So let me go down to, I want to share now with you what I'm seeing now. Also the same thing for the, the GDX as well too. The GDX did the same sort of thing, right? If we go back to that weekly chart, look at this here on this weekly chart. Let me take everything off the screen here. And look at this on the weekly chart. The bot, the market's actually always given us some sort of sign, right? We had a high, a lower high, this lower high through here, we had a low, and now we had this higher high through here. What does that mean? A high high, that's not a lower low, right? That's not a, a lower low, is it? No. Now look what, what we're forming right now. We're creating some sort of higher low, aren't we? So if you've been if you've been watching my videos for the last for the last uh month, You'll know that um, I've been saying that the that there's a lot more buying activity, a lot more strength in the gold stocks than the silver stocks, because the silver stocks are still just making lower lows, lower highs, and so on and so forth, right? So, and what we're looking at right now, if we go to the daily chart, look at this break up, this this nice break, this this went went down sideways, little gap here, and now it actually broke up. Oh, excuse me, with volume. Now, what does that mean? That, that that means it's likely to be a breakaway gap, right? So if we look at the GOD here on the daily chart, look what up, look at the GOD, look at that volume there. Look at that sort of downward movement through there. And that was the line through there, as you can see, right? But you can see it actually broke down, went sideways, and now broke back up. Little gap here and a gap up. Um, and the gap is what? The gap is uh, above this level here. So this now has actually made a higher high to this level through here. We had a lower high, lower high, some sort of lower high. And now we're actually breaking up through here and a little bit of a gap through here. That's a breakaway gap with volume. That tells me we're now getting, there's a lot of strength in this market. We're now likely to start to see at least a run back up towards the 127 level from there. And then we can go from there. Makes sense? So that's what I'm seeing there right now. Uh, if I go back to the GDX here, once again, um, and we look at this chart here, overall guys, on the on the overall longer term charts, that's what we're seeing through there. If we have a look at that, um, and let me squeeze, let me see if I can squeeze my chart up a bit more. There we go. Um, and you know, that's what's happening through there. And look at all this, this, this GDX here is about, is, is it's gotta go ballistic. Look, look at all that sideways movement here. One, two, Two and a half years, right? It's like all this here is what? This is what, ever heard the calm before the storm? The market's calm, calm, and then boom, storm, right? Market's calm, calm, and then boom, storm. <laughs> it sounds like a motorbike or something, <laughs> right? So that's what we're looking at through there. And see, guys, whenever you're trading the markets, right, it's always important to, you know, it's always important to be analyzing the chart for what it really is. Trade what you see, not what you think, hope, or fear, right? And the trading what you see is obviously trading a system, but also with that, making sure that you're reading the charts, just like I'm sharing with you right now, because the truth is in the charts. It doesn't matter what I think, it's in the, it's in the market, makes sense? And one, one thing I have found is that there are four key skills to, to becoming a good trader. There's what we call the foundations. Like, what is the foundation to a successful trader? Forget the trading system, but what is the foundation to a successful, successful trader? How do they approach the market? The chart reading strategies. How do you actually, like the stuff that I'm teaching you today and going through today? Trading systems, like having really good trading systems. And what I call the mindset. How do you, how how are you, how are you while you're in the market? How are you, how are you, when you're in a trade, how are you handling yourself and so on and so forth? These are the four key skills that I have really learned over my time that really have helped me become the trader I am today. And so, and that's, and that's what, and that's what in that master trader lab there, that's what I teach you there, right? So that's what you study. And I'm giving away a free trial to that. And the price is actually going up real soon because I've actually have, I've had it at a really, really low price per month to get access to the Master Trader Lab, but I'm giving away a free trial and the price has gone up soon. So go to mastertraderlab.com right now and grab your free trial and start learning the foundations to help you understand what is the foundation to a successful trader. What are the chart reading strategies? What are the trading systems? I've got two amazing trading systems there. And what is the mindset when you're in the market? How do you actually keep yourself calm, patience, and so on and so forth? Makes sense? So that's what I'm looking at there right now, guys. Overall, the, the GDX and also the GDXJ, uh, it's just, these things are really, really, really have been just very quiet for quite some time right now. And we're likely to see some pretty big moves in the market. So I wouldn't be too surprised to see some, some really, really, really big moves in there. And we look at the SIL and the SILJ, as you can see, right, we've, we've been, this is the SILJ. Look at this here, just downward through here and the SILJ, big downward movement. So the silver, silver, and also silver miners are like, meh. But gold and the gold stocks, 
GDX and GDXJ, there's a lot of buying activity happening through there. So this could be the start of a nice big move to the upside. Now, when I say a big move to the upside, guys, I simply mean over the next couple of years, all right? It goes up for a few days and it might have a pullback and then it might go up for a week or two weeks or three weeks overall. And then it has a pullback, you know, maybe for a couple of weeks. That's what I mean by a big move, right? Not just straight up every single day. The market doesn't work like Hey traders, well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, I've just recorded a brand new training walking you through my number one and the most powerful trading system on the planet. I'm gonna be walking through all the details plus the three secrets to absolutely crushing it in the trading. If you're struggling with the trading right now, you absolutely must see this. Very first thing in the description, click on that right now.